Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, make sure you turn off the water supply to the washer. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the drain hose in the Samsung washer. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips and a flat disc drivers and a pair of pliers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new drain hose. The drain hose connects the drain pump outlet to the house's drain pipe. If after the end of the cycle, you find a water puddle on the floor near the left side of the washer, check the drain hose for cracks and splits and replace it if needed. We're going to open this uh, drain filter door. I'm going to use the flat bisco driver. We're going to pry this open. And next step would be pulling this little drain hose out of the clamp. All right, I'm going to use this uh, little container and uh, I'm going to remove this plug. It just pulls out. Drain probably a couple of containers of water through this tube. Then we're going to plug it back and we can continue working. Then we're going to install this hose into the clip on the top and we can close the door. Well, we need to tilt the washer on its side. I'm going to place a support box and I'm going to place a towel and then we're going to tilt it. Be careful, it's quite heavy. And make sure it's not going anywhere while you're working inside. I highly recommend you to place the towel right in this corner and maybe even bigger towel. Depends how much water you drained out of the washer. Then we're going to go inside and disconnect the hoses. To get to the clamp on this drain hose, which is a gray color, we need to take this tub to pump hose. So for the convenience, I'm grabbing this clamp with my fingers, squeezing it and moving it up. If you don't feel you can do it with your fingers, you can use the pliers. Then I'm pulling off this hose. It could have some water in there and be ready. It all depends how much you drained. I'm going to put it away so it would get right, right there. would be a good place. And now I need to remove this clamp over here. I'm using a pliers. That's uh, expendable so-called pliers. I can make it wider and then this is going to be a little hard. I can't see it but I guess I can place the pliers on the clamp, squeeze it and move it down the hose and now I can pull the hose off the pump. All right. I'll be ready for a little uh, greasy water fountain. All right. Now we need to undo a couple of clamps here from the bottom. And I'm going to move to the uh, rear. And this one. And uh, one more if we can reach. Now we can pull the towel off. All right, so I'm not going to place the washer back on its feet. Again, careful, it's heavy. And we're going to remove this uh, rear access panel. Two Phillips screws. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, now we can remove this uh, access panel by pushing it up. And then we're going to take out the bottom. I'm going to slide it down and release the top. 
and one more clamp over there reach in and open it we need to remove one more clamp it's held in place by a single screw I'm using a Phillips screwdriver to take it out take this screw out and I'm gonna spread the clamp and take it out the hose next we need to remove this uh, drain hose mounting bracket I'm going to pry this top and out there's a little pin in there that holds it uh, to the cabinet then I'm gonna push it up so we're gonna disengage those two side clips and then I'm going to remove the hose well not not quite because we have one more clip here this is the last clamp that we need to untie or untwist and now we can free the drain hose Now well, let's pull the hose from that clamp and then I'm going to remove it from the washer cabinet. Now I'm going to remove this uh, bracket of the hose. Slides pretty easy. We're going to reuse it. This is the old drain hose next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. Before installing the drain hose into the opening, we need to do a couple of things. First, I would like to slide this clamp here. And then we're going to install it through this uh, cutout. Okay, I'm gonna seat this hose and now I'm gonna install this bracket. I'm gonna slide it from this end on. And uh, we're gonna put it around this line here. We're gonna lock these two tabs over these uh, metal tabs. Press it evenly into cutouts. And push it down. All right, put this washer on its side again. Slowly. Alright, now I'm gonna go down and install the drain hose onto the pump. I'm gonna fish out the drain hose and place it on this pump outlet. And next we're going to clamp it. I use the pliers, wide spread them. Squeeze the clamp and move it on. Now I'm going to place this top to pump hose back on. There's a little notch here that will go over the rib on this side. Okay. And I'm going to squeeze this clamp and slide it onto this pump here to secure the hose. All right, next I'm going to place this drain hose into the couple of clips here on the side. There's one twister here. All right, next we're going to clip it into this one. And now I'm gonna put this washer back on its feet be careful it's heavy support it 
All right, now we're going to continue installation of the drain hose. We're going to install the hose into this clip at the base. All right, so I'm going to install the hose into this twister. Okay. We're going to open the clamp, slide it over, and I'm going to put it right here where we can secure it to the cabinet. Now there's a Phillips screw and install it into the clamp. So out of the way. Now we're going to install the rear access panel. We're going to slit first these two tabs into the cutouts, push it up, then bring it in and press it down so these bottom tabs will lock. Now we're going to secure it with a couple of screws. Phillips screwdriver would be the perfect tool for Phillips screws. All right. Turn on the water, plug the washer in and run it to check if it works properly and there's no leaks. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.